Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Smorgasbord Kitchen. Today, we'll be making an easy, flaky pie crust by hand. The key to a wonderful flaky texture is keeping the butter from incorporating completely into the dough. We must keep the butter cold, so we'll prepare some ice water, which we'll use shortly for hydrating the dough. In a large mixing bowl, we'll add 1 and a third cups of all-purpose flour and 1 eighth of a teaspoon of salt. If you're making a sweet pie filling, you can also add one tablespoon of sugar. We'll give this a whisk, then we'll add eight tablespoons of cold, unsalted butter. To make the butter easier to work with in the next step, I slice it into small cubes. We'll cut the butter into the flour mixture with either a fork or a pastry blender until the mixture resembles small peas. We're ready to hydrate the dough, so we'll grab the ice water we prepared earlier, and one tablespoon at a time, stirring with a fork in between each addition, we'll add about four to six tablespoons of it. We'll want to add just enough so that the dough will start coming together, but not so much that it becomes sticky. Once we're able to form it into a ball, we'll wrap it in plastic wrap and let it rest in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. After the dough is finished resting, I find it helpful to let the dough warm up for a couple of minutes before rolling, or else it will be stiff and prone to cracking. To ensure that we'll be able to form the dough into our pie dish without stretching it, we'll roll the dough until it is a few inches larger than the rim of our pie dish. We'll carefully transfer the dough into our pie dish and gently press it into the sides. You can finish the edge however you like, but I prefer to trim it and pinch it into the classic wavy edge. As for baking it, you'll want to follow the directions with whatever pie filling recipe you are using. I hope you have found this video helpful and that your pies turn out fantastically. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thanks, and see you next time.